Welcome Lower Elementary to episode number 18. For today's lesson, you're gonna need a water bottle, a beanie, and a laundry basket. Now, if you don't have a beanie, you could also use a sock. All right, let's get ready for a fun warm up called Captain's Calling. It's time for Captain's Calling. In this game, we're gonna see a captain yelling out commands, and then we need to follow what the commands are and just do what I do, and let's have some fun. Here we go. Scrub the deck. Arr, pull the rig. Arr, jellyfish. Arr, captain's coming. Arr, at ease. Arr, it's chow time. Arr, seasick. Arr, scrub that deck. Arr, rowboat. Arr, captain's coming. Arr, at ease. Arr, hit the deck. Arr, jellyfish. Arr, captain's coming. Arr, at ease. Arr, it's chow time again. Arr, seasick. Arr, scrub that deck. Our rowboat. Our captain's coming. Our at ease. Hit the deck. Jellyfish. Captain's coming. At ease. Chow time. Oh, seasick. Scrub the deck. Pull the rig. Captain's coming. At ease. Jellyfish. I mean, Robo. Captain's coming. At ease. Hit the deck. Jellyfish. Captain's coming. At ease. Nice job, mateys.
today's riddle. What goes up but never comes back down? The answer is coming up at the end of class. All right, it's time for the Daily Dose. We're gonna play a game called Level Up. It's like a video game, but we're gonna be the ones in the game. Follow the directions on the screen and do the movements that I do. Let's get ready to have some fun.
The food rule of the week, try new foods. Remember that our taste buds change and you may have tried some foods that you didn't like last month, but this month you might like them. So this week, try something new. All right, it's time for Upside Down. Take your laundry basket and turn it upside down. I have a waste basket because I wanted a bit of a challenge. Then measure five steps away, take your beanie, and see if you can underhand toss it and get it to land on top. Oh, almost. If you get it to land on top, but then it falls off, that's worth one point. I'm gonna remeasure five steps and I'm gonna underhand toss. It hit the top, one point. Now, if you are able to get your beanie to land on top and stay there, five points. So here's what I want you to do, Lower Elementary. Take some time to practice while I get the timer ready. You're just gonna have a few seconds. Go ahead and get your materials set up, start practicing, and then you're gonna see if you can beat Coach Kevin. All right. Everyone get ready. We're gonna put one minute on the clock. We're gonna put some music on. See if you can beat me. On your mark, get set, go. One point. Ooh, now I have six points. One plus five is six. That's another point, seven points. That's eight points. Nine points. Oh, I hit the can, so that's worth the point. Ten points. Oh, I missed. I'm still at ten points. Keep track of your own points. I'm at eleven. I'm at 12, I got 12 points. Nice job, everybody. Find a spot to get really comfortable. You can sit up in a chair or you can lay down on your back. Take a moment to listen to the sounds around you. Feel your body touching your chair or your back touching the ground and gently close your eyes and I want you to take a big deep breath in through your nose feeling the nice cold air and out through your mouth. Now I want you to imagine something that you cannot do yet but that you really want to learn how to do. Maybe it's do the monkey bars. Maybe it's learn how to ride a bike. Think about something that you can't do yet, but you really want to. Do you have that in your mind? Great. Now with your eyes closed, I want you to visualize yourself doing that activity. I want you to see yourself. What does the environment look like while you're doing this activity? What does it smell like? What's the weather like? Visualize yourself doing the activity that you can't do yet, but you're going to learn how to do. Can you see it? Do you see yourself being successful? Go ahead and open your eyes and take a look at the screen. Our brain tattoo this week is 
visualize success just like we just practiced. When we visualize ourselves being successful, oftentimes that can become true. But remember, it takes practice and it doesn't happen right away. All right, for this week's journal prompt, I want you to draw and write about what you were visualizing yourself being successful at. Something that you can't do yet, but that you're going to learn how to do. It's time for the answer to the riddle. What goes up but never comes back down? Your age. All right, I'll see you next week for episode 19.